Well, it's exciting times, team. Picking up the brand new throttle down under machine right now. And uh, although this may have given it away a little bit for those of you who know Sydney motorcycle stores. Um, but guess what? I'm back, baby. Harley Davidson again. Okay, so there you go, I'm back on a Harley Davidson. And the last 18 months or so on the BMW GS was incredible. Uh, I have to say that I believe the GS is the best motorcycle ever built. It does everything incredibly well. It does performance almost as good as a sports bike. It does touring almost as good as a Harley. Uh, it goes off road. Um, there is nothing that can beat the GS. So why did I sell my GS? Well, plain and simple. It didn't give me the emotionals. It didn't hit me in the heart. I didn't look back at it when I walked away from it in the car park and think, oh yeah, that's beautiful. I didn't get all those feelings from the GS. The GS did everything perfect. But for me, I found that numb. Uh, I didn't have a visceral feeling. I didn't have um, the thump that these give me. So. What have I chosen? What is this? This is a 2023 Harley Davidson Heritage Classic with the 114 motor in it. Now the 114 is the same motor that I had in NOLA, my Street Glide Special, and it was an absolute weapon. This bike's a lot lighter than the NOLA, more flickable, uh, with the same motor, the same amount of power. All right, so let's talk about some of the add-ons that I've done, um, and we'll walk around the bike while we're talking about it. All right, so. The things that came standard with the Heritage Classic, of course, is the fog light. So from a front-on point of view, from a, uh, let's say, a visual point of view, being able to be seen, there's three bright LEDs sitting on the front of the bike that make it stand out. So less likely, fingers crossed, to have people pull out in front of you, which often happens as a motorcyclist. So this screen detaches in less than 10 seconds, uh, which is a big bonus, because most of the time I won't have the screen off it. I'll only put it on when I'm touring and doing long highway runs. Um, obviously the 114, it comes stock with this heavy breather intake as well. Um, it came with black pipes, stock pipes, and of course stock pipes just don't sound great. So what I've chosen to do, at the moment, and I think this is all I'll do from a performance point of view, I've put Reinhardt slip-ons. Uh, the Reinhardt slip-ons, um, but because it was all black, I also had to do chrome heat shields to match. Now, why did I choose chrome over black? Well, pretty much with black pipes on this, it was a very, very black bike, everything. Uh, for me, the chrome pipes just make it pop a little bit. Personal preference, that's all. Uh, what else did I put on? I put on these crash bars called mustache crash bars. And you can see from a front angle, it creates a bit of a mustache look. But the reason why I chose it was because built into it, you've got highway pegs on top. So you don't have to put crash bars on and then highway pegs sticking out. They're all built into it and it's nice and compact and sleek. And it looks OEM. Coming around the back, things I don't like about the Heritage Classic, but it is part of the style. On the leather bags are these fake plastic studs and also around the seating as well. Now I hate that. That's part of the bike, it's part of the style. Um, and it's because of the original heritage has had metal studs around them. But for me, I hate that. It's part of the bike, I have to live with it. What I probably will do over time is change the seats out so the seats have no studs and maybe look at aftermarket bags to make it look a little bit more my style. Now, the other thing I have to say about these bags, they detach in about three or four minutes with a couple of screws. They're not a quick detach, but they're not too bad. But they're deceivingly small. You can see that I've come straight from the shop now. I'm almost home. All I've done is buy a battery charger. 
and the little bag for this uh, Osmo Pocket 3 and it's almost full there's not much space in these panniers at all um, so that's something that I need to think about in the future the other add-on that I did was a backrest for Mrs Throttle and also a luggage rack to be able to put on some bags um, just to expand my travel arrangements obviously we've got the TDU plate brought across onto this bike also the tail light and the indicators are not LEDs and the indicators on the front are not LEDs as well but the headlights are so let's just say Nate from Hog Lights will be getting a call from me to see if we can get some sort of uh, LED set up for my indicators and my tail lights. So after I've ridden this for quite some time, I'll bring you a more um, detailed description about how I like it. But today, it's absolutely beautiful. I love it. I've just come from Morgan & Wacker in Sydney now. I want to give a shout out to Morgan & Wacker in Sydney. They're a new Harley dealer at Auburn. And uh, they've been incredible looking after me. Um, just uh, making sure that everything's been done and I'm on the road safe. I can't speak highly enough of Morgan & Wacker Sydney, so make sure you check them out. Uh, for now, I'm going to go and enjoy this baby and uh, get to know her. Um, and she's already been named. I've decided to call her Elvira, Princess of Darkness. So uh, there you go. That's my beautiful Elvira there. And uh, you'll come to see her a lot on my channel as time goes on anyway folks thanks for watching just a quick update about my new bike oh why don't we listen to the pipes since we're sitting here um i'm really happy with the slip-on reinhardt's uh i don't think i'll need to do more than that i don't think i'll do a full system i don't think i'll do a stage one or stage two upgrade i think the slip-ons will do just fine for what i want i'm just a cruising guy i don't need performance as long as it sounds cool and feels cool Anyway, let's fire it up quickly and um, see what they sound like. 